Hello and welcome to Daily Prelims Practice. Here we take up MCQs based on important articles from the Hindu and the Indian Express newspaper. Topics which we are going to cover today are displayed on your screen. Let's begin the discussion. Now let's start our discussion with our first article which appeared on page number 1 in the Hindu newspaper. Context of this article is that Prime Minister Narain Modi on Sunday inaugurated India's new parliament building and call it a symbol of the aspirations of 140 crore citizens and a vehicle that will drive India in the next 25 years towards its goal of becoming a developed country. Now taking inspiration from this news, we would be taking up a question based on parliamentary system or parliamentary form of government as UPSC has already asked question based on features of parliamentary form of government. So let's come to the practice question. Here you have to identify the correct statements. So the first statement is in this form of government the executive does not enjoy the right to get the legislature dissolved. Now the lower house of the parliament that is Lok Sabha can be dissolved by the president on the recommendations of the prime minister. In other words, the Prime Minister can advise the President to dissolve the Lok Sabha before the expiry of its term and hold fresh elections. This means that Executive enjoys the right to get the legislature dissolved in a parliamentary system. So with this, our first statement is incorrect. Now let's come to the second statement. In this form of government, the Ministers are members of both the legislature and Executive. Now. Double membership is a feature of parliamentary form of government. That means the ministers are members of both the legislature and the executive. This means that a person cannot be a minister without being a member of the parliament. The constitution stipulates that a minister who is not a member of the parliament for a period of six consecutive months ceases to be a minister. So with this, our second statement is correct. So here, our correct answer is option B, that is 2 only. Answer of this PYQ is option A, 1 and 2 only. Now let's come to the next practice question. Now as you know, important international indices, particularly those who have highlighted key issues related to India, are important from the perspective of UPSC examination. Like this question based on Global Hunger Index report came in year 2016. So here, we have taken a practice question based on recently published joint malnutrition estimates. Question says, which of the following organizations are associated with the recently published joint malnutrition estimates? Here, the first option is UNICEF, second is World Health Organization, third is International Monetary Fund, and the last one is World Bank. Now, joint malnutrition estimates released by UNICEF, World Health Organization and World Bank. So with this, the interagency team releases annually estimate for child stunting, overweight, underweight, wasting and severe wasting. So with this, our correct answer is option D, that is 1, 2 and 4 only. Now why we have taken up this practice question? Because of this news article which appeared on page number 40 in the Hindu newspaper. And according to this report, that is joint malnutrition estimates, in proportion with global and regional trends, India continues to show a reduction in stunting and recorded 1.6 crore fewer stunted children under 5 years in year 2022 than in 2012. An answer of this PYQ is option C. Now, as you know, protected areas have been a recurring theme in UPSC prelims examination. This question based on good link between Eastern Ghats and Western Ghats came in year 2017. So here we have taken a practice question based on Megha Malai Wildlife Century. And in this question you have to identify the correct statements. So the first statement is the Megha Malai Wildlife Century lies in the southern western Kerala. Now Megha Malai Wildlife Century lies in the southern western Ghats falling in the state of Tamil Nadu and not in Kerala. In the revenue districts of Taini district and Madurai district. So with this our first statement is incorrect. Now let's come to the second statement. Megha Malai Tiger Reserve act as a continuous patch of forest for the Perian wildlife century. Now government of India approved the creation of new tiger reserve in Tamil Nadu in year 2021. That is 
Meghamalai Tiger Reserve. Now, Meghamalai Tiger Reserve will now compromise both Sri Veliputar Grizzled Squirrel Wildlife Sanctuary and Tirunavali Wildlife Sanctuary. With its new status as Tiger Reserve, Meghamalai Reserve has become the fifth Tiger Reserve of Tamil Nadu and 50th Tiger Reserve in India. It is to be noted that Meghamalai Tiger Reserve also act as a continuous patch of forests for the Perrier Tiger Reserve via Grizzle Squirrel Wildlife Century. So with this, our second statement is correct. So here, our correct answer is option B, that is two only. Now why we have taken this practice question based on Meghamalai? Because as per the Forest Department of Tamil Nadu, Ari Kumpun, the lone tusker has moved into the Meghamalai Reserve Forest. It is being closely watched by forest officials and ground staff members. With the support of police and fire and rescue services personnel and revenue department officials. An answer of this PYQ is option A. Now let's come to the next question which is based on this article which appeared on page number 12 in the Indian Express. Context of this article is that ISRO successfully launched NVS-01, a second generation navigation satellite on board the geosynchronous launch vehicle from the Satish Dhawan Space Center, Sri Harikota, Andhra Pradesh. Now, NVA-01 is designed to sustain and augment the NAVIC constellation with enhanced features. Now, as you know, UPSC has been asking question based on satellite and navigation system. Like this question based on satellite navigation system came in year 2023. So on the similar lines, we have curated practice question based on navigation with Indian constellation that is navic system and in this question you have to identify correct statements so the first statement is navic consists of a constellation of seven satellites placed in the geostationary orbit now navigation with indian constellation that is navic earlier known as indian regional navigation satellite system basically it is a satellite navigation system developed by isro it consists of constellation of seven satellites from the stack of seven, three satellites are located in geostationary orbit and the remaining four are located in geosynchronous orbits. So with this fact, our first statement is incorrect. And with this, you can easily eliminate option A, option B and option D. Now let's come to the second statement. It can provide accurate position information service to users across India and the region extending up to 1500 km around the country. Now this statement is correct as it can provide positioning, navigation and timing services to users across India and the region extending up to 1500 km around the country. Now let's come to the last statement. It is designed to provide position accuracy of around 50 meters. Now this statement is incorrect. Why? Because it is designed to provide position accuracy of more than 20 meters and not 50 meters and the timing accuracy of better than 50 nanoseconds. So with this our correct answer is option C that is 2 only. Answer of this PYQ is option D that is Japan. Now next question is based on this news article and this news article featured on page number 1 in the Hindu newspaper. Context of this article is that Turkey President Recep Tayyip Erdogan won re-election on Sunday. Now, as you can see here, UPSC has been asking map-based questions based on countries in news. So here, we have taken a practice question based on Turkey. And in this question, you have to identify correct statements. So the first statement is, it is bordered by Black Sea to the south and Mediterranean Sea to its south. Now in this map, you can see that Turkey is bordered by Greece to the west, Bulgaria to the northwest, Georgia to the northeast, Armenia to the east, Azerbaijan, here exclave of Nakhivan to the east, Iran to the east and the southeast, then Iraq, then Syria to the south. So with this, Turkey is bordered by eight countries. Also, Turkey has a coastline along the Mediterranean Sea to the south, Aegean Sea to the west and Black Sea to the north. So with this, our first statement is incorrect. As according to this statement, it is bordered by Black Sea to the south. Now let's come to the second statement. Istanbul is one of the largest cities 
located on the strait of Bosphorus which in turn connects the Mediterranean and Black Sea. Now this statement is correct. Istanbul is indeed one of the largest cities in the world and it is located on strait of Bosphorus. And this Bosphorus strait serve as a waterway connecting Mediterranean Sea to the south and the Black Sea to the north. Istanbul is uniquely positioned on both the sides of the strait, with the European side to the west and the Asian side to the east. This strategic location has played a significant role throughout history, making Istanbul a vital hub for trade, commerce and cultural exchange between Europe and Asia. So this our correct answer is option B. That is true only. Answer of this PYQ is option B. Now last question is based on this news article which appeared on page number 12 in the Hindu newspaper. Context of this article is that Prime Minister Nareen Modi on Sunday hailed Hindutva ideologue V.D. Sarvakar and paid homage to Sarvakar on his birth anniversary. Prime Minister Nareen Modi said that his personality exuded strength and his fearless and self-respecting nature could not tolerate the mindset of slavery. Now as UPSC has been asking questions related to revolutionaries and the literature they have published. In year 2020, they have asked question based on book Deshar Katha. So here, we have taken a practice question based on the same theme. Question says consider the following pairs and in this under one column, you are provided with published works and another column respective revolutionaries. And in this question, you have to identify the correct pairs. So the first option is why I am an atheist published by Bhagat Singh not V.D. Sarvakar. So our first option is incorrect. Now let's come to the second option, Hindutva, who is Hindu, published by V.D. Sarvakar and not Bhagat Singh. So our second option is incorrect. Third is Bandi Jeevan, published by Sachin Nath Sanyal. This option is correct. Sandi Ghosh, published by Arun Bahini. Again, this option is correct. So with this, only two pairs are correct. So here our answer is option B, only two. Answer of this PYQ is option A.